all right guys so today we're gonna try and get this nft thing out the way so um uh, so what's the main idea here uh, where should i where should i start so typically let me close that so i am testing out um, editing a bunch of SVGs um, but what's happening is I want to create an on-chain NFT so this is going to be a series of me creating on-chain NFTs um, I pray to God I, I don't open my dot .env anyways but I'll close that so Hmm, where should I start? Actually, actually, let's start on Remix. Um, I think I think that would that would, that would be a good idea. So let's see, let's see if we can find Remix and share that screen instead. So select window one, 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 window capture. It's the Chrome. Chrome press on one. All right, so let's find it. Where's Remix? Okay, this window just took over my screen. Let's just resize it really quickly. Oh, not that. Guys, I'm going to make the screen larger. Don't worry. Let's call this VS Code. Alright. Okay, so let's see. Let's get started, right? Uh, let's close this tabs. Okay, so this is a contract. Oh, uh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have to take it over real quick. I feel like I'm, I'm really tired. Um, actually, I want to show you guys something first. I want to show you before I go deep into the contracts before um, before I go through that rabbit hole I want to by the way tomorrow I'm going to be going live so uh, in the next 24 hours so I guess maybe starting Wednesday starting Thursday starting maybe Thursday or Friday I'll be going live uh, sent a request to YouTube to get my live stream thing going so hopefully that's gonna be a blast um, yep so finally set something up in like the last hour so I've been spending like the last two hours trying to knock everything down so I don't have to be reinventing the wheel every single time just have a perfect setup so whenever I want to go live I'll go live or like right now this is recorded so it's not really live um i do get to edit it but yeah so i just want to show you guys like the final concept of what this is gonna look like and some of the challenges like i'm, I'm running into uh because like 
if I start like if I start like explaining if I if I just go in in depth too early it might not make sense so what I want to do right now I'm in Figma so um, let me actually create a Figma window for you guys to see uh, let's let's do this so create a new window capture let's call it Figma um, yeah. where is Figma Figma go 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 I don't get to resize this thing Oh, I need to lock that in place. Okay, did I just lock the Figma? I want this. Once again, it's going to take a little bit of resizing. Alright, guys. Uh, so I, I know this is not large enough. So we'll get we'll get to it. Don't worry about it. Don't you worry about it. Let me delete these really quickly. Um what else? What else is there? Anyways. So I have Okay, so we're calling these guys the money boys. These are NFT, you know, after after creating your collection, you know, uh, I'm definitely not gonna go to. Hopefully, maybe another day I'll show you how to create it step by step, but not today. Um, today is just like a demonstration of what's happening, what kind of problems I'm having. Uh, before we go too much in details, I wanna put this in the background. So that background is kind of badly placed. No. I want I want that. Is it well placed? Or is it is it is it the background? I think it's the background. So the background needs to move up. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So what's wrong with the background? What's wrong with the background? Okay, so I think it's my Is that set up or what? I can't tell what's not aligned. Let's just align all these things. Put them front and center and these guys these guys except that except that and this I want to kind of move them down right there so cool 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 so I mean let's Let's try and generate them really quickly. I think we have actually not this one. So we have about 11 million possible, right? 
I think that's a little bit too exaggerated. Um, but what I'm trying to get at is okay. Let's do this. Let's just do fifty. Yeah, let's just do fifty for right now, guys. Um, so I have a mixture of pixelated NFTs and um, some graphics like this collage over here and some some text here. We have some money um, and in general, what I want to do is I want everything to be on chain. So the image is really tricky to put on on chain so I, I guess that i'm gonna have to like take a shortcut but for the svg elements i think i could put them on chain however it's i need to do like a lot of optimization because like if i'm storing like the svg things in like a smart contract um it's gonna cost a lot because these are byte strings and they're really long so i'm thinking of like some methods that could like make this better and some of uh one idea like i have briefly is just like to use like hex code just to try to compress compress like all the the data for um like let's say all the pixels and just like create some kind of tree structure that's going to store all the data for all these pixels and then use that information to to generate like most of these nfts so when somebody mints an nft they get to mint another another really challenging thing is i have this dollar number that i want to i want it to be dynamic so i want it to be like changeable on chain <laughs> so someone has to change uh submit a transaction to change that number and it changes in real time so that's a really difficult task and then given that given that um this this font i don't know i don't know how to like maybe get it on on svg but but that's 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 going to be like a really tricky thing maybe i could draw out those pixels themselves themselves um maybe that could work but yeah so these are these are some of like this is the look i'm going for like this is like the concept where we have an avatar and then we have this logo right here logo right here and then uh we have this collage of benjamin franklin with the amount so i think this is gonna be like uh pretty cool uh it's a very challenging uh, task and it's just simply because like storing all this image data on chain is going to be really, really taxing and it's going to be really expensive. So here, like, it's like a really difficult problem to solve. And um, I can show you like the beginnings of just getting the pixels uh, situated. So this this might be like a good time for me to explain or maybe even to jump into, um, to just jump into like what kind of problems I'm already seeing off the rip, and what do I need to do in order for for everything to like make sense? Um, yeah, yeah. So let's let's let me jump right quickly to um, what window do I want to go? So. I want to go back to Remix really quickly. Um, so this is my Remix window. How do I? Okay, let me close that Figma window. All right. So, hmm. all right, guys. So you see, you see what I'm talking about, all right? So we have on-chain NFTs. We have some amazing art that we want to get started. So let's let's just get started really quickly. Let's. Uh, in this contract, I don't want to explain too much like what's happening, but the whole the whole concept is I've, I've already done this a few times and I'm actually going off of a tutorial that uh, Chainlink Hackathon actually did. 
So what I have here is I have this contract called SVG that just stores all the data. So it stores the face. I have only like three types of faces. Um, it stores like tattoos. I have like three face tattoos and you can see how long this string is and so some optimization is going to have to be done here and and here originally I was I was um I was dealing with a canvas that's that's 680 640 pixels so 640 pixels that's a whole lot of pixels and originally when I made the pixels it was a 24 by 24 like canvas, so like 24 pixels. So I went from really small and tried to amp it up just so I could like work with something larger. But now that it's gonna be on chain, I think I need to like think differently because like I can have a lot of numbers. I cannot have like a lot of things going on in my, um, in my images just to reduce like all this like SVG data. So, yeah, so tattoo, we have the beard, we have like three of them. Uh, chains, there's only two types of chains. And, and some 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 um, pixels, they don't contain a lot of information. So, so they might be like relatively like normal uh, size. And then like some of these like, some of these points, you can see like some of them are really similar. And the only difference is probably like a color change right you know so so some of some most of these things like stay the same so this is kind of be this is going to be where we're going to try and save and only use one instance of like stroke 20 and maybe one instance of you know this line so things like that so we have you know cigarette you know we can, we can see like most of this is kind of really similar it's like almost the same thing you know yeah so this is what we have and then the hair the hair is like where we have like a lot going on you know there's so many colors and so many uh cool stuff going on so let me deploy this contract really quickly just to see how far i have gotten like since yesterday um so i have this svg contract and i have this the money boys contract and here i have a struct i'm not really using it um but in my constructor, it's just going to create this SVG contract and kind of just like deploy it or whatever. Uh, we're going to use this. Actually, um, yeah, yeah, hold on. So the reason I need like two contracts first, let's, let's address that problem first of all. If I stretch this, will the, will the screen, okay, yeah, the screen gets larger. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, now it's getting off screen. I just need until right there. All right. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So all these functions, right? If I if I were to put them in the same contract, if I were to put them in the same contract, like so, it, this contract like has a few functions you would see like I'm hitting like a limit. So it, it says, okay, uh, that's just a, a pested, but let's see what kind of error we're gonna get. So it's trying to compile this and we'll see what kind of error we get. You can get away with like storing a certain amount of data on chain, but, oh, so it went through. Hmm. Huh interesting or oh, it was compiling that contract i needed to compile this contract compile that okay so it says uh contract card size is 28 k twenty eight thousand five hundred and seventy four, and it exceeds the maximum limit of 24,576 which was introduced in uh, Sporicious Dragon. I, I don't even know what that is. Yeah, so that's the whole point. I, you know, in order for me to like not hit this limit, you know, of course, like 
I don't know how much we can optimize to get below this limit. So maybe I have some hope uh, to get these uh, to get it down. And from from what I saw, from what I saw, if I can comment out like even like you know most of these like maybe until there you know or something oh what did i do um let me try that one more time let's try that so if we comment those out let's see what kind of compilation error maybe we'll be down to like a normal limit maybe i guess i hope we'll be below that So it's too much data. Wait, why is it why is it saying the same? It's compiling that. Okay, I think I'm, I might have like some string twenty two. I think it needs to be string four or something. What does it say? Um, memory is not convertible to type. If I thought I commented out that. Okay. Let's see. I'm sorry, guys. This thing is really slow, but it's kind of it's kind of important that I I show this. Um, and then uh before I, okay yeah so so it compiles fine you know so i mean let's see if we could add like four more that's one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight i have one more down there so let's see if we compile i think we're gonna see what where we're gonna reach the limit Anyways, so some of this data is like too much to store chain. So can we can we optimize to the point where we, wow, yeah, so we can optimize we can optimize to the point where like we can store at least below uh the code size limit. So this is like this is going to be the goal. I'm going to try and optimize to the max and later we we're going to use half to do that you know so I participated in the hack uh, half hackathon and I didn't get to build out a project for that hackathon but this was my idea to um, my, so my idea was to maybe work on on chain NFTs but I had no experience with it and I only had like maybe 24 hours to like make a decision on something to do anyways um quickly let me let me deploy this and then i will show you guys i will show you guys um so so my idea is i think i could optimize this on-chain nft using half and that's that's what i'm gonna be attempting to do for the next i don't know four months or three months so let me deploy this contract really quickly just to show you guys how far I've gotten. Uh, so he created these contracts. Sorry, we created two of them. Okay, so he created the SPG one. I don't want that. I want this. So the mining boys, right? So we have a mint price, which is about uh, 0.002 way. So we're going to try and mint token one and we're going to provide a value of that so we're going to try and mint all right sometimes it fails because some of them some okay but this this time it passed so uh what we do is we check our token uri and boom we're going to see some data come up let's see let's see sometimes it takes it takes a while i think because uh maybe i'm recording so we get this this long string data, this long string of data. So usually you could just like paste this 
to your browser it's going to show you it's going to come up with some type of json in this json definitely we have an image um i need to prettify my json uh let's see what the image is gonna look like boom so we have on-chain nft right super super cool so this is like base 64 of this data you know and when we inspect this um when we inspect this uh everything checks out so we have our svg on chain so everything is working cool 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 but my point is how can we get these images so the images are way larger than pixels you know if you if, you, if you've ever tried to convert like um, an image to like an svg it's really large like it's like a long string of data so that i don't think especially for the background images i don't think we can do that for the background images for this nft right even for my logo or for my for images like this we can't we can't we can't do that so i'm sorry guys for barping um we can't we can't generally like do that you know how do we store this image right store this number and this font you know and we have also this green line that tells you how much how much how rich or i guess the ranking you know if if you're a little bit low on funds it's gonna be that much so how do we store all this data in, included with uh pixels so, so that's that's where the challenge is you know so me making all these things into like um optimized version <laughs> that's gonna live on chain so i'm gonna be optimizing svg which is totally like not related to blockchain at all but i think that's the direction i'm gonna be headed into yeah so, so this is the problem like i'm running into and um at the beginning of this session when i started uh you guys you guys um were seeing me you know in here where i have like in vs code where i have my contract already and um i had I have this like test svg where i'm kind of scaling everything down um it was from so uh so some some Hmm, this how do we do this so kind of like just putting everything together now so let's see um see if, if this is like large enough maybe i could i could stretch it a little bit more uh let's see okay i could use a little bit more stretch um, let's close that all right hold on is this is this large enough okay maybe i could can move it move it just a little bit from from here i need to move it like that and then maybe i can i think this is enough i really didn't need that much space i see okay gonna make it a little bit larger actually I, I want to make it a little bit smaller for my for my viewing anyways so here um here so i'm working on on this i'll show you i'll show you i'll do a, like a quick run of what i was working on right now so here you can see like my stroke width i changed it from two initially it was 20 right so initially it was 20 like that that's how large things are so I'm, I'm scaling them down by a factor of 10. so what i'm doing is for every value that's like 180 90 160 140 90 120 180 130 160 140 130 120 i'm like removing all that and scaling it down to to two pixels you know so it's kind of like a manual process uh that i'm doing right now so 
definitely like I'm sure this could be done like a different way it could be done better but I find it like like it's like a good learning process for me even to like do it manually so I can like have a good sense of where things are like sitting at uh, kind of like kind of like that so yeah so this is kind of like a really tedious tedious process and sometimes I do make mistakes like right here we only we have 100 so we have two zeros I can remove that twice so is that so is that here um, I think I missed I missed out on some of these so mm, so 60 I think I'm 64 pixels so 320 needs to be I think 320 uh, is that 320 40 90 180 so here I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing but hopefully this makes sense so I might have messed it up in the way but hopefully okay so I, I think that's good so I might, I, I might have messed up some things okay so that's 5 that's 60 okay cool that's 70 that's 40 790 cool 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 so that yeah so this is kind of like manual process yeah just removing the zeros kind of like makes everything a little bit much smaller and uh, removing anything unnecessary so i'm testing things out and sometimes i have everything in the background here just just so i could like see the sizes match up um like the way i envisioned them um yeah so something like that you know um yeah there's these there's a there's a lot going on um there's the beards and you know all these other things i've already optimized them to make them smaller and um one other thing that i do also for the colors I think my camera disappeared or something. Hopefully it's gonna come back. So let's see, let's see what's wrong with that. Let's see. Is this doing okay? Hold on. Anyways, um, let me see if I can fix my camera. What's going on? Properties. Um, how do I pause? How do I pause? Anyways, I think I should be fine. I think my GoPro just uh, went out. Let's see if I could use this camera. Hmm. Anyways, uh, never mind. So, yes. So, what we're gonna do is sometimes we can just take out some of these colors. Um, we can save a little bit by just using like three letter hex. So instead of black, we use that. Instead of F8, we could just take out that and make it 
little bit smaller so hopefully this is gonna optimize it a little bit uh so before we move forward anyways that's it for right now i'm just showing you guys like my process on how eventually like this is gonna become on chain and so some of some of this code already like some of these strings that i have on here is not really optimized so i have to go through all the string all the strings all the strings and optimize them uh before i can like move forward so that's that's what i'm working on right now anyways thanks so much uh see ya